guys, so today I'm doing the Spring Things tag. Now, this tag was created by Sweet Beauty X, um, or Emily, but I was tagged by Makeup Girl Rocks, so I'll have a link to both of their channels in the description box. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first question is, name your top 10 makeup products for spring. Okay, so the first product is actually a little eyeshadow palette that I have been loving for about a week or two now. And it is something that is a recent purchase and I actually did a haul on it. And it is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips eye enhancers for all eye colors and this is in nude eyes and I love the colors I'm wearing them today um, they're really natural colors some can range from like really light to like brow bone and inner corner to like crease and eyelid colors so it's a really great palette and it's only about $13 so I definitely recommend this to anyone who's looking for a great neutral palette from the drugstore so the next product is a product that I've talked about in probably tons of videos already and it is the Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream. Now this is the everyday face product that I use no matter if I don't wear anything else but maybe mascara or something. I just wear BB Cream. I put this on every morning and it just gives my skin like a fresh look. You know what I mean? But I really like that a lot, and it's like $13 as well. Now, a really good powder that I have been loving um, is the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. For two reasons. The one reason is it lasts a really long time, and the second reason is it really does what it says it's going to do. It really mattifies your skin really nicely with only a little bit of product and it's just like a translucent powder and I dropped it this morning and kind of broke it a little bit but you know mistakes happen accidents happen so and it's three dollars from the elf studio line which you can pick this up at Walmart Target or eyeslipstace.com and I believe Macy's might sell it I'm not sure but I think I saw something online that said Macy's sells it so Yep. Alright, so then my favorite, like, cream eyeshadow slash base product is the... Oh no, Momento. Okay, so the next product is the Maybelline Color Tattoo, the Maybelline Eye Studio Color Tattoos, and this is the 24 hour gel cream eyeshadow, and this is in Fierce and Tangy. You can see. Number 10. Um, oh my gosh, like this is the amazing, like so pigmented creamy, rich, lasting, no fading, no creasing. It's just amazing. Love it. So, then a really, really good mascara that I have been loving here recently is the CoverGirl Volume Exact Mascara in Black. The reason I love this is because it works, it makes your lashes look long, I've been wearing it almost every day that I wear my other makeup. And um, it really makes your lashes look long and very full. And it gives you the perfect amount of volume. So that is product number five. We've got five more to go. Favorite eyeshadow primer, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. But if I had to pick a drugstore favorite, it would be the Elf Eyelid Primer, which. I don't think I have it. It might be in my other bag. Oh, no, here it is. 
So, name for my favorite lip balm is the EOS Lip Balm in Summer Fruit. I wore this today. Really nice. Then, favorite lipstick for spur or lip gloss for spring is the Profusion lip gloss that I got in the Prominent Beauty set. It looks red on camera, but it's a really pretty coral in person. And it doesn't have a color on it, but if it did, then I would tell you, but it's like really beautiful, really pretty coral. I love that. It's really smooth, too. Okay, so that is how many products now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got two more products to go. My favorite blush has been the... Physicians Formula Happy Booster Glow Mood Boosting Blush and Rose. Mm. I love this blush. It smells really good. Good pigmentation. And then my current favorite kind of um, lipstick has been the Honey Lipstick. This is the Long Last Soft Shine Lipstick in Honey Gloss, which I'm not sure if they make these lipsticks anymore because this is pretty old. Um, but la lipsticks last, I believe, it's a three years. So, um, but you can tell this is like a really pretty hot, honey, kind of pinky, peach cool. Really beautiful. It has a pearly lit to your lips, too. So, yep. All right, so that's the top ten makeup products. Next, what are some things you are looking forward to this season? The warm weather, um, swimming, um, going to the beach, going to the river. I don't know. Just having fun. What are some nail polishes you reach for in spring? Um, I don't have any with me, but um, one that I really like is the Love My Nails um, nail polish, and it's in flirty pink. It's a really pretty pink color. I did have it on my nail. Oh, I do have a little bit on my nail. Really pretty pink color. I love that nail polish. And that's really the only nail polish I've reached for during the spring. Um, what are some fashion and beauty trends you are going to rock? Um, definitely going to try the silver eyeshadow and the bright lips. Um, the jumpsuit trend. Yeah, I definitely going to try that. Because I have a jumpsuit. I didn't even know it was a trend. Favorite spring accessories. Okay. I like lots of like flowers. Kind of like the flower clips I have on with me right now. Which this one is really cute. And you can just clip it in your hair. I like lots of like floral bracelets and necklaces and anything that has like flowers on it and looks really delicate and fun. Um, even some chunky like flower. Anything that has flowers on it, pretty much. And the last question is favorite spring scent. I actually have one not with me, but it's actually a sample of the Taylor Swift Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I love that perfume. Um, it's not the full size because the full size I think is like sixty-five dollars. So I just have a sample of it, but it smells so good. So yeah, that is the spring things tag. And thank you, Alana, for tagging me. And <clears throat> I hope you all have a great day. So, oh, and once again, thank you for 100 subscribers. Bye!